over here of, of the function, which is this red parabola. Uh, it's going to help us understand what we actually mean by a difference quotient. So I've, I've picked an arbitrary point on the curve, 1, 4. And I, letting h represent the distance to some other point on the curve, like right here. So this is h. So the x-coordinate of this point is, uh, we're actually pretending that this is the point x comma f of x instead of 1, 4. So the distance from here to here is h. The distance from here to here is the change in y. As we move from this point up to here, well, that distance will be this y coordinate minus this y coordinate. And the difference quotient is actually the slope of that green segment, a secant line. So when we, what we mean by a difference quotient is the y-coordinate of the second point. Take away the y-coordinate of the first point. That's the change in y, this distance right here, divided by the change in x, which would be x plus h minus x, which is just h. And what happens is h gets smaller and smaller. Well, let me share, your, share my screen and show you what happens as h gets smaller and smaller. Watch what happens to that green segment. It starts, what the heck? Oh. started moving the wrong thing. As H gets smaller and smaller, that green segment starts getting closer and closer to the slope of what we call a tangent line. And that's what you're going to learn after in calculus after you've uh, learned to find difference quotients. So what we want to do here is evaluate this expression for this function. Now, a lot of students get confused with all the X's and H's floating around. So this, this thing right here is just a template, a rule that we follow for any input to the function. For example, if I ask you what's big F of a triangle, wherever there's an empty parentheses or an X, you replace with the triangle. So this is just a template. So if I want to know what F of X plus H is, that's what I put in here. F of x plus h is 5 times x plus h, 5 times the quantity x plus h, minus x plus h the quantity squared. And I'm going to simplify that before we substitute into this formula. Okay, so we're going to get, distribute the 5, 5x five plus 5h, minus this binomial squared will be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, squaring a binomial. And if I remove the parentheses, I get minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared. So that complicated looking expression is the this part right here of the difference quotient. So now we're going to actually evaluate or simplify the difference quotient. So I've got this expression, 5x plus 5h minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared Again, up to this point, that's just this thing circled in red. And I'm going to subtract f of x. Well, that would just mean this rule right here. So if I subtract that, I could subtract the entire quantity, but I'm going to picture removing the parentheses. So I have a minus 5x plus x squared. 
So now I've taken care of this part. I have to put that all over H. And here's what happens. If you've done the difference quotient correctly, any term in the numerator that does not have an H in it should disappear. So here's a minus X squared and a plus X squared. Here's a 5X and a minus 5X. And that's it. Every other term that remains has an H in it. So what we're going to do is factor out that H from this term, this term, and this term. And I'll get H times the quantity, 5, from that term, minus 2X, because I factored out the H from that term, minus H over H. And the whole point is we want this H in the denominator to cancel out with a factor of H in the numerator. So there's your difference quotient right there in terms of X and H. You're going to learn in calculus that if we take the limit of this thing, whatever that means, as H approaches zero, we can substitute zero in for H and we'll get five minus two X. And that number right there, or that formula right there, actually represents the formula for the slope of that red tangent line to the curve. Uh, so that's why we're doing this. Okay, the difference quotient is a formula for the slope of this secant line. As H gets smaller and smaller, that green segment starts approximating the, the uh, slope of that tangent line. And we can use the slope of the tangent line, this formula right here, to find the slope of the tangent line. As a matter of fact, if I put this one into here, I'll get five minus two is three. That's actually the slope of this red line. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any uh, questions, leave a comment.